So why am I seeing so many people stepping down into a maxi rib? Sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? Now this is a 43 foot Italian stallion, just shy of a million Australian dollars. Um, and people are stepping down into a boat like this. Well, what I'm observing in the Sydney market, and I'd be interested to know if this is happening in other markets. So leave a comment in the description below if it is. Uh, people have coming down from 70, 80, 90, 100 foot boats. They might still have their big boat. Um, go away, Seagull, we're trying to film. Um, they might still have their big boat, but they're looking for convenience. A lot of them have got beautiful places like we see right here. Uh, and they just want to socialise. They just want to get around uh, the harbour or the inland waterways or short trips up and down the coast. And they want something that is practical. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you want to go and step off onto a dock, if you want to go and pull up alongside your mate's nice boat, a, an inflatable is pretty good for that. Um, low sides are pretty good for that. You know, you compare the height of these gunnels as opposed to some of the Mediterranean style um, day boats that you've seen me test, which have got very high sides. Um, if you're trying to operate as a solo operator and pull in alongside a dock, pull up alongside a big boat, um, you're gonna need longer legs than me. <laughs> so maybe you do have, good, good on you if you do, but it's just a little bit more of a challenge. Whereas a style of boat like this with these rails all the way around, we've got walk around decks from bow to stern, from an operational perspective, it's quite doable. I'm just gonna go around this boat here because I don't wanna get into too shallow a water. Um, so that's, I believe, one of the uh, appealing points. Next thing, you can get lots of people on this boat. You know, you get 10, 12 people on this thing, everybody's comfortable, it's gonna tackle the swell with ease and you can do quite high speeds. We'll find out how fast it goes at the end of the video. Um, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of positive points for maxi ribs. So yeah, when I, when I say I believe people and I'm observing people stepping down into these boats, I think those are probably some of the main reasons. Um, what are we on? This is the Capelli Stradivari 43. Stradivari, um, Italian violin manufacturer or violin? Oh, I didn't know that either. So um, apparently that's quite famous. I'm obviously not that cultured, so um, pretty cool. But I do understand there is some features within the design that hint towards some of that violin heritage. So we'll check that out in the walkthrough. That's gonna be another video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, so what do I have? 5.5 tonne of boat, normal deep V hull, 43 feet long. Um, when I say 5.5 tonne, that's empty. We've got 700 litres of fuel. We've got the twin 425 Yamahas on the back. Um, we have the joysticks. We've got the bow thruster. I've got the digital throttle and I've got the heading hold. So I have an autopilot on this, which is quite handy if you're doing your Sydney to Pitwater run because you can just sit on that. I'm going to set it to single lever because these particular joysticks are quite light to touch. So I just take the starboard joystick out, uh, out of action and I'm going to drive on the port joystick and that is very ergonomic because I can rest my palm just there, see how I've got my thumb around the throttle, that's quite nice. So, got my revs, got my fuel flow, we're full of fuel and got my speed, I think we should get this boat moving. What a beautiful day, finally summer's cooperating. It's just been one of those up and down seasons for us this year. So no trim tabs on this boat because the, the tubes are giving us the trim and I do feel, I do feel the inflatables uh, uh, section giving us stability on this boat. Not all ribs do that because they're going to be mounted higher up off the hull, but the Capelli does. I'm just bringing the speed up through 20 knots there. It's not going to do anything crazy just yet. And let's bring it up through 20, 22. 23, fuel flows at 97 litres, revs are at 3,700. My engine trims down, I'm just gonna give it a little trim up just to see if that does anything differently. 25.7 knots to 26 knots, cruising at 3,700 revs, giving me a fuel flow of bang on 100 litres. So, you know, if you picture that, 
26 and a half knots we're sitting on there, 100 litres, you can go a lot of places at 26 and a half to 27 knots within your day on Sydney Harbour or somewhere similar. 100 litres, that's a couple hundred bucks. Um, you're not gonna get lunch for a couple hundred bucks these days. So when you factor in that sort of, um, or when you think about it in that sphere, it's pretty affordable. Not that that's gonna worry you though, if I suspect you're the kind of person who you are buying this boat. So let's increase that speed. Let's just nudge it up to about 30 odd. So coming through 27, 28. It's got quite a level attitude. I saw basically zero bow raise on acceleration. Um, we're now sitting on 31 knots. I'm just gonna hold that. That's giving me a consumption of 130 liters per hour. And I'm just gonna give it another little trim up there the fuel flow has stayed the same and now I'm starting to go through some waves and just ferry waves here one two three very smooth very smooth all the wash is parting the boat just forward of the helm and it's going straight out at a very level attitude so nothing is coming up onto the decks nothing's coming up onto the decks just sitting on 31 knots there my revs are 4,200, 4,200 revs, 31 knots, very comfortable. So I'm quite good at this standing position. We're now passing the open stretch of the harbour, really low swell today. Got a, got a bit of boat wash, which I'm gonna pass through. I'm gonna run down those waves. That is really nice. So I just took those waves beam on from starboard to port they were rolling. The boat, it didn't actually, it didn't actually wanna rock around at all quite smooth. Um, let's just increase the speed a little bit. 4,400 revs. Speed coming up through 32 knots. Let's check that fuel flow. 4,500 revs. We're at 150 litres. That's not too much of an increase. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm now rolling through swell. I've got the swell mostly behind me. So I'm going down the waves. I'm really surprised at how level this boat runs. Wow, it's just a very, very nice ride. So the wind vortices are at this angle just here and just here above my head. I'm 5'7", so you got that much space. I'm just going through a starboard turn there. So the heel angles, the heel angles feel like they could be quite aggressive if you want them to be. I'm just rolling through some swell coming up my starboard bow. This is a dry, comfortable, pleasurable ride. Just sitting on 33 knots, 33 knots. I'm gonna maintain that just until we find some flat water and then I'm gonna open the boat up to full speed. I might do a harder turn just here, just to feel that heel angle doing that at 34 knots. Oh yeah, look at that. You can really dip the tube into the water there. That's fun. That's fun. And just coming back to sensible cruising speed. Okay, so through this whole transition from Middlehead to Manly, where we've got a little bit of bounce back, a little bit of ocean swell and some boat wash, all of the wash has parted the boat at the front and it's just gone out to the sides. And what I'm really paying attention to is some of this sideways swell going like that. It's not rocking the boat, it feels rock solid. So from a guest perspective, this thing is really not gonna frighten anyone. I think that's part and parcel of getting into a boat of 40 plus feet, being a maxi rip, so that is just some of that is just down to the size, but I am gonna say a lot of it's also into the design. Having had an experience on the Capelli Tempest the other day, I was really impressed by how the thing drove through the chop. I'm basically getting that same experience right now. So I'm gonna just bring the boat off the plane. Let's just check out our sternway. Yeah, that's not offensive. So it doesn't create a big, huge wash compared to some large boats. And I guess when you think about it, it's not overly heavy, you know, five and a half tons, probably seven ton um, overall, once you include 700 liters of fuel, these engines probably about 400 kgs each. So 
you know, about seven tonne of boats, not hugely heavy for her size. Let's just see how she feels with a bit of transverse thrust. So I have the joystick, but I just want to do it the old fashioned way and just feel it. Easy. So this is where I see these low sides in a manoeuvre like this really coming into their own. So you as the operator, I've got easy sight lines back to that aft swim platform. I can see the bow, I can see everything. I've got a grab rail all the way around. So if, you know, just simulating a scenario where you are pulling in close quarters to your mate's boat or to the marina or to the fish and chip shop or to the cafe, the sort of things that you are gonna do on a boat like this, uh, it's just gonna be easier. Okay, we better try this speed. Um, Let's do it from a standstill. Let's go drag race mode. Okay, trim down. Everyone's clear. No one's going to annoy me. Okay, oh, I won't annoy them. Let's give it some. Oh yeah, feel the torque. Okay, coming up through 16, 19, 20, 22, 25. My revs, 4,900. 34 knots, 35 knots, 5,000 revs. I've got more. I do have some waves, 38 knots. 5,200 revs, give me a bit of a trim up. 39 knots, 40 knots, 41 knots. Acceleration is blisteringly quick for a boat of this size. 5,500, 5,600, 5,700, another trim up. Going through some waves, 44 knots, 5,700, 5,800, 44, 45 knots. I'm running out of runway. Okay. Let's just go around this uh, YA marker. Let's do it again, that was fun. Oh, how's your Monday morning? <laughs> okay, all right. I'll do another standing start again. So I saw 45 knots, 5,800 revs. Let's just go back the other direction and try it again. I'll stop the boat. Let's test this thing properly. I got a new drone, by the way. I'm struggling with some of the maneuvering of it. So some of my shots are not gonna be as close as I would ordinarily expect for you. But I hope you enjoy the increased picture quality. I'm trying. Alrighty, a couple of waves, that's all my waves. Let me just drive through those. Sorry, I should have factored that in, guys. Look at that. None of the wash comes up over the boat. This thing's dry for such low sides. These ribs really are deflecting the wash well. Okay. All right, I've got one speedboat on my bow. I've got to wait for him to go by. I reckon we're going to be okay in three, two, one, and another one going the other way. Let's just be creative. Let's go. All right, a little bit of a faster acceleration from standstill there. 5,700 revs, 5,600 revs, 25 knots, 30 knots. 35 knots, 5,000, still sitting at 5,007. <laughs> 42 knots, 43 knots, 5,800 revs, 44 knots. Gonna run out of water pretty soon. Gonna piss off some sailors. 44, 45, 45 knots. Still on 45.1, 45.2, 5,900 revs. Okay, I'm out of water. <laughs> oh man, this is so much fun. Honestly, that never gets boring. Okay, so we got a top speed of 45.1 knots. I think that was 5,800, 5,900 somewhere. You'll hear it on the audio. Um, revs and the pickup on that second run, I actually just get, went foot to the floor and it was noticeable. So there's plenty of torque, plenty of pace and we, we really can sit this boat effortlessly at 31 knots and your fuel consumption anywhere in that 100 to 150 litre per hour range um, is giving you that 27 to about 33 knot speed range. So if you pitch up half an hour at 30 knots, you're going places. Um, you're, that's, uh, you're already at Sydney to Pittwater. That's only 16 nautical miles. So if you're using, you know, 50 to 70 litres to do your day's trip, if you use 150 litres, you've done a lot of driving or maybe some hooning around like I did just there. That's pretty good. 
that's pretty good, you know, for a 43 foot boat that'll take 10 plus people, give you all of this luxury and um, facilitate lots of social, simple activities that you are probably looking for. So if you want to discover some more about this boat, guys, there's a detailed walkthrough. That's a separate video. So click on the link coming up on your screen right now.